So with GM Connected, that's something we haven't publicly addressed for a while now. What well, we know, everyone requests it, so how do we get to a, a connected franchise mode? Well, first of all, I'm glad we got the G word out in the open and on the table. What's going on, guys? Yesterday on Twitter, EA uploaded an eight minute long video between Clappy, who's the community manager for the game, and two of the new devs, and Mike and Chris, just talking about what to expect from this year's game, some of the biggest questions the community's had. Now, the first thing I'll say about these new developers is they're very open minded, very transparent. I feel like you guys have any ideas about the game, they're more than willing to take that feedback. They're not really worried about their own agendas. They're just trying to make the best game for us. And I think this video kind of shows that they're already trying to connect with the community. And I'm gonna make it easier for the devs to get their feedback from you guys. They actually mentioned starting an NHL Discord next week after the full game's revealed. As well, too, they mentioned our first chance to actually play until 24 will be the play test. You guys can actually sign up for that with the link in the description. And according to this image I saw on Twitter, it's not mine, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. That's going to be from August 21st to August 27th. And now some big news from this video, guys, is them announcing GM Connect will not be NHL 24, but they do have their eyes on that mode. They actually said they want to get away from the G worry, which of course is GM, and look at more of like a connected franchise, a kind of more modern take on the game mode. Now they did say that it'll take more time, so they won't be able to you know, just get it done in one game cycle, but it is something to stay tuned for in the future. Uh, to me, when I hear you know a more modern take on the mode, I feel like they'll probably leverage the current custom leagues we have in GM mode, maybe make it so if you only have you know 10 friends you wanna play with, you can actually have a 10 team league, whether it be 10 existing teams, or you know restart with 10 teams, just do a fancy draft. That way it's just easier to get through uh, multiple seasons without having to get you know 32 people all together, all in the same schedule. So uh, that right there, of course, that's just me speculating, but they did say, They've heard all the community feedback for GM Connected, not in 24, but they're hoping to have a connected franchise in the future. And after that, guys, I mentioned that NHL 24 is going to have full crossplay for EASHL. So, of course, this is awesome. No longer can you only play against people on the opposite console. You can actually play with your friends on PS5 if, say, you're on the Series X. Now, full crossplay does not mean you can cross generations. So, if you're on Series X, you can play with and against PS5, but you cannot play with or against Xbox One or PS4. I think that's because, like, the consoles are just on, you know, completely different hardware. But um, still, it's, you know, very cool to see. I feel like that'll make it a lot easier to find games now in EA. SHL, whether it be drop-in or club games, and hopefully too, this means we're getting full crossplay for other modes, if not now in the future. Right now, though, we only know, like, confirm for sure is ASHL, so... So we're just going to have to wait and see. And I should mention too, guys, with the full crossplay, I actually got to test out NHL 24 at EA in Vancouver this week. And I can't, you know, get into too many details about that, but I did test out the crossplay. It was easy to use. It worked. So hopefully, you know, that'll be the case once the full game's released. And speaking of testing out the game, in this video, they mentioned the fact that there's new gameplay improvements in NHL 24 with a new meta, new ways to attack and defend, as well, they've changed how you pass and hit. So again, without, you know, getting too much into this and giving things away, I will say I was very happy with the new gameplay improvements. I think you know it's just completely new gameplay it's not just like the same recycled stuff they really you know try to make the game feel new and feel different I really appreciate that and like I said for the most part I was actually very happy with the changes but I'm very curious to see what you guys are gonna think about it so don't forget to sign up for the play test and lastly guys I actually mentioned something for the future and that was tech driven gameplay with unique animations for every player so this is very cool if you guys don't really know what that means basically when you're playing the game McDavid's gonna skate and look like McDavid on the ice compared to say like Victor Hedman skating different, looking different, uh, their strides, uh, the way they you know hold their stick, skate with their stick, uh, the way they hit people, it's all gonna be like unique to that player. So if they're actually able to get that in a future NHL, I think that'll be uh, so amazing just for the authenticity of the game. So it kind of just teased us there with something for the future that I think, again, would be a great, great addition to this franchise. And lastly, guys, I mentioned it earlier, but the full reveal for this game is next week. August 16th, so mark your calendars. Just like with the playtest, can be very curious to see what you guys think about all the new features, but that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.